Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, this is a collective tarot reading for all signs. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This is the next 24 hours reading. Let us see what is the guided message that is ready for you to know and meant for you to know. So I'm going to be looking into love, career, money, people connection, and of course, inspirationship, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. What can I get for all signs? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? So I'm going to be delivering three psychic reading, okay? Thank you guys for supporting the channel. You can watch it all or or you can just stick to option one option two option three what is the guided message for all signs what can i get for all signs okay all right okay all right let's start the reading this is a freestyle reading thank you so much guys for being here let's see what is your guided message the first reading okay so the first reading you could be a leo okay the first reading you could be a leo you could be cancer scorpio pisces energy capricorn taurus virgo energy aries leo sagittarius energy um the first reading is connected to a situation ship where i'm hearing the word when is it coming sunshine okay um the nine of wands the three of pentacles in here it feels like you keep looking into your phone you keep looking into you keep looking into your phone you keep waiting looking uh there's something that you are searching and waiting and looking and for some of you i could feel that you've reached out you have sent your follow-up you might have gotten some rejection it could be job interview job offer or it's possible that if it's personal um, you might have been unseen or they've just seen you or you've been ignored um, there's some sort of rejection in here of feeling low I'm glad I did it I, I'm I'm glad I did this reading I'm supposed to go in you know in you know to to do a libra sign on schedule but i was somehow directed to do a collective reading because this is quite sad okay so for some of you you're feeling sad you're about to get angry okay the strength card the lion like there's something in you that you're getting frustrated or angry or the combination is like depressed and then angry you're like i'm angry i'm like i'm I'm sad and it's making me angry to feel this way you know like you will retaliate if you look at the strength card in here um, the strength card is surrounded by beautiful colors but he has the face of a lion so for some of you guys the the frustration of waiting it's making you sad and angry at the same time so let's look into your message in here the king of wands you're very intense okay um, if there's something that you're waiting, you're searching, you're looking, I honestly feel like you're in the right path and you're being redirected to the wrong offer, wrong people, wrong connection because you're choosing the wrong, because your choices are wrong. Okay, so what is very strong with the King of Wands is that, first of all, you are not giving up okay whatever it is that you're looking searching whatever whatever it is that you've started off i could feel that you're not giving up you could be sad you could be frustrated but i don't think you're gonna give up i don't think so okay what you need to do with the king of wands is keep your momentum steady and positive and optimistic because as soon as you get sadness and angry in this manifestation in this waiting period this will somehow derail your manifestation it's going to delay you from getting the right person the right opportunity the right offer okay yeah you have an eight of cups in here to be honest with you guys one of the because eight of cups rejected move on 
don't be too emotionally invested into the rejection into whatever you didn't get like the universe telling you you are the king of wands okay the universe is reminding you that you have a brave heart you are resilient king of wands your passion can burn rejection if you're re rejected that is a redirection release it release it okay because something is like you're on the verge of this sadness and being angry and it's gonna affect everyone else in your life or it you could be redirecting it with some areas of your life and it's good we have we, we catch it now okay someone is thinking of you you have an offer but still in the dark okay oh wow look at that so I'm telling you right now if you're on the verge of like a if you feel you know if there's a part of you that is boiling and sad and angry because you're not getting it guys you're not getting it because it's not the right offer it's not the right person it's not the right connection it's not the right probably choice but that choice is redirecting you to the right one so every rejection is a redirection towards the queen of pentacles and the ace of cups in here you know i feel like for some of you this important offer that you're waiting you're searching you're looking um it's almost there it's still a bit in the dark um it's you're not i'm really picking up the vibe that you're not seeing that you're so close because you're just seeing the darkness of the rejection so the universe is telling you uplift your energy in spite of everything that took place the sadness the being angry you have the power to dispel this whatever it is that's overtaking you like i could feel like you're about to boil up like you're like this you know like you're about to growl no calm down you are a passionate person lover you are a believer you are a fighter you are not gonna give up there's a queen of pentacles and ace of cups in here this could be new love it could be connected to a female but something is hidden you don't see it yet because you're being consumed by the five of cups and almost angry energy so as soon as you pull yourself together lift your spirit up you will see the light you would see the queen of pentacles and the ace of cups you know it could be you know it's possible that this is connected to the beach it's connected to the beach it's connected to a female um female interview female invitation for some of you female speaker there is a female that will connect you to a new a new offer that you're looking for you're searching for oh wow for some of you guys it's two wow the queen and the king for some of you guys there's a delay because the universe will give you twin so for some of you guys you could be wanting to get pregnant you'll get a twin for some of you guys it's delay because the universe will like queen this is a queen and a king so for some of you guys there was some re rejection redirection and then the new cycle something's coming up soon something is coming up soon you will have a twin you have a new offer and one coming from the past is also coming to the picture so you have two so the universe is really delaying it so the the past can catch up okay i could feel your frustration okay i could feel sadness and frustration brewing it's a bad combination being sad and being angry i'm so glad i catch it up don't be okay because a new cycle a situation will come up very soon where you will have a new offer and then the past will catch up and this is the reason why there was a lot of redirection or delay so the universe can give you options so this offer will come up it could be a new person a new job a new friend but there's something new that would cheer you up and after this one comes up the past is calling and joining so you have twin offer or a twin flame or two soulmate in here so the redirection the delay is just giving you space to recalibrate to soul search to review to be excited again because two 
is better than one. So there's new and after a couple of maybe just hours or days, the, pat, the past person will catch up or an offer from the past will catch up to steer a bit of excitement. You will have now two. We have options, choices and choices and choices. Okay. All right. Now that's the first reading. Wow. That was intense. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this to offer to situation before the month of August start, you will have a choice in here. So don't be sad and don't be angry. Recalibrate your vibe. Something good is coming. Something juicy. Okay. <laughs> something juicy something something juicy something expensive something something good yeah okay now you have you have the high priestess the ten of wands and you have the eight of pentacles in here and the queen of swords oh so for some of you guys you could be looking for so the second reading you could be looking for or searching for or wanting to re-inspire i'm really getting like the high priestess um well first of all if you would like to feel inspired again with life with life purpose maybe job maybe business um like in a general like in a general collective reading if you want to feel connected and if you want to feel connected and inspired then the universe is telling you slow down you're overwork slow down you're overwork and the queen of swords for some of you guys you're angry the queen of swords okay so for some of you guys you don't find the inspiration because you're always busy you're always on the go slow down take a breather maybe take a break and queen of swords look at your face you're always in a fighting mood how can you attract lovers supporters friendship if you are always hungry or angry okay so the unit the high priestess is here so for some of you if you're feeling less and less and less inspired with your dailies or the people that you work for or the people that you talk to on a daily basis the universe is telling you drop the overworking and have really quality conversation with people around you because you're busy and you're having some time with other people and then you're grumpy so if you're grumpy then they wouldn't come back to you okay in a collective reading you are feeling less inspired because you're super duper busy and you're moody okay when you're feeling this way you've got to drop the work and take a break because your aura is it looks like your aura is sharp you know Look at that. You're pushing people away for some of you guys. Like you're grumpy or pushing people away or somebody would like to have a small talk with you and you couldn't build a small conversation or a conversation because you're always busy. So some of your friends, important people in your life, they want to hang out with you, but you're always busy. And if you're always busy, you're feeling like, okay, the world is moving and I'm still here inside the office and busy. So for some of you, delegate work, schedule work, like delegate work, schedule work schedule fun entertainment it would less it would make you less grumpy <laughs> you look like sharp in here you're scaring your lovers your friends in here so in a lighter note drop the overworking and spend time with yourself you know your good friends people that would people the people that miss your sunny side personality they miss you yourself miss you too okay um you need to power up with good vibe you need to drop the overwork it's making you it's making you grumpy it's making you unavailable and the people around you might move on without you and you might miss a lot of great invite to meet new people new lovers new opportunities network social networking you need to capitalize with your resting face so you can glow up and your energetic aura is inviting because it looks like it's disinviting okay all right now last reading okay oopsie okay all right okay 
All right, so the last reading, oh, the Knight of Swords, they changed their mind. The Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Wow, this is an urgent message for, could be an Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be, you know what? The last reading is a love reading. So there's someone, okay, you've recently, okay, this is recently, like um, it could be two weeks ago, two months ago, but this is like a this year energy. You know, you've connected with this Knight of Swords. They're single and they're interesting and they're interested with you, but they disappear, okay? Now, the Knight of Swords is now going to be a King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person miss you, but they don't know how to contact you. They don't know how to reach out with you. They probably have some few details about you, but they don't know how to start. So in real time, because Knight of Swords, they run away, ignored you. They're interesting and interested with you, but their mind space and heart space and their availability is all over the place. So you've met someone who's very interesting or you've connected with someone who's interested with you and you're interested with them, but they run away. I'm really picking up like this person storm out or run away and they couldn't handle you. They couldn't handle you because they've got a lot of priorities, like they're running around, okay? With the Knight of Swords, this, is, this has been sorted. So there's someone out there who is available, single, no baggage and steady i think when you were talking to them they were all over the place now this person is like nine of pentacles the king of pentacles i'm steady i'm available i'm thinking of you i'm looking for you i'm thinking of how to connect with you okay i think maybe this person ghosted you um they've kept a details of you they have your details they have information about you and how to contact you, how to call you. They're thinking of ways to send you the message, a good vibe message that will make you like something fun. Like they're fond of you. Like they want to reach out or call you or text you where it feels like lighthearted humor and there's some flirt in here. <laughs> so... I feel like it's gonna happen within the next three seven days in the next three seven in the next i don't know why i said 17 or steven or steven i don't know but the next three seven days there's someone who's no longer busy who is very engaged into a one-on-one -on -one conversation they have time they can now provide you quality energy quality attention with a temperance card the thinking of ways to catch your attention like they want to send you a message like they want to send you a message that is light-hearted sweet and serious okay because it's a star card like the something healing like they want to send you something sweet something healing something that you would have a second look okay so they might use some emoticons they might they might humor you, they might joke, but they're also very apologetic with the star card in here. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to end the no contact. This person is going to end all of the confusion. Their one special message will bring your light heart on. Oh my gosh, whoever this person is, it's interesting. I feel like this is one of the highlights of your July. Okay, it will turn your light heart on. Um, there's 17, number 17, and um, let's see. Yeah, they're, they're, they're being creative. Right now, this person's like thinking, is this how I'm going to message you? Is this how I'm going to text you? There's some sort of creative thing, that the, their ways of connecting with you. I think you know that you are special, and they know that they made an impression with you, so they're quite confident that they could return with with a strong bold and sincere message i could take you back this is what they're thinking okay so <laughs> that is so nice whoever this person is very charming 
and very spiritual there's something spiritual about them they're very intuitive like they would really listen to their intuition in order to get your soulful attention and this is what I have for you guys I mean thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me you know what to do click the bell click subscribe I will see you soon you have a great day bye bye